some more fun on this, uh, you know, doctor dishonesty. <laughs> uh, one of his videos says, Cannabis should be illegal and cigarettes and alcohol, and your warnings are well publicized. Okay, why would you need a fucking warning if there's no harm? Like, if it's harmless, what are you warning about? <laughs> right? Like, that, that one little detail shows how full of shit he is. Oh, it's not that it's harmless. It's that we should legalize it so we can cause harm. <laughs> but his analogy for cigarettes is great. What better example to prove that warning labels and publicized warnings about the risks do not work at all, and if anything increase the harmful behavior, than cigarettes? So, uh, Germany, and this is the story of cigarettes, in the last uh, 130 years or so, Germany had the best physicians on the planet at the turn of the 20th century, from the 19th century. So by the late 1890s, they had identified smoking tobacco as a cause of lung cancer. Uh, definitively by like 1914. The Nazis had a huge war on cancer. Hitler aggressively uh, enforced a non-smoking campaign, which lowered Germany's cancer rates to record levels of low. Particularly impressive given the Industrial Revolution at the time. Now this parallels with the scumbag behavior of this uh, psychiatrist, right? This means the United States knew since at least World War II that smoking tobacco caused lung cancer. Yet the government suppressed that information and allowed the population to get cancer so Philip Morris could make a profit. Right? This is just like a psychiatrist. He's not motivated by altruism or morality. He's motivated by money. <laughs> Greed. And, um... Ah, profit over people. <laughs> so, Philip Morris, with the complicit, you know, approval and assistance from the government. Uh, sorry, I'm exercising while I'm doing these videos. Uh, Philip Morris suppressed the fact that smoking tobacco caused lung cancer. Well into the 1970s, but... Even when it came out, like, all these harms that they had known for a long time. Just like marijuana, right? <sighs> They've known about the connection between marijuana and psychosis. I think the first paper I could track down was written in 1920. But I would imagine it goes further back than that. I got a book from the 1800s that discusses the uh, hallucinations and more psychosis from the uh, hashish poisoning, <laughs> as the guy put it himself, that this uh, this psycho psychotic individual in London went through in 1852. <sighs> so <laughs> I don't think publicizing the. <sighs> Warnings and risks of alcohol has deterred drunk driving any more than publicizing those risks about marijuana has reduced the vehicular fatality increase caused by marijuana. Specifically, marijuana legalization. So this doctor's liar stance is, oh, well, you know. Oh, as a doctor, he has to know that public publicizing the publishing the warnings does not deter the behavior. All right? You fuck with cigarettes and alcohol are great examples, but somehow he's like, "Oh, because it doesn't work with cigarettes and alcohol, that means it's okay that it won't work with marijuana." Like, <laughs> alcohol already kills people with drunk driving, so therefore it's okay that marijuana kills more people with stone driving because we publicized the, the warning <laughs> that totally stopped people throughout history Americans are smart 
they listen to the warnings. <laughs> like, what a fucking liar. And this video is like two years old, right? Like, it's too late. <laughs> it's not like I can stop this by countering his lies. But even then, the Jews that run Jewtube will be like, Oy vey, Goyim. <laughs> You're gonna fuck with our prophets. You don't fuck with us drug dealers that run society. This doctor psychiatrist man is our bitch. <laughs> he does what we want because it makes us shekels. <laughs> we don't give a fuck about the lives we destroy, the families we destroy. <laughs> we only want the money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and basically that's exactly what this doctor is. He's a bitch for the money. He's he's just a prostitute. <laughs> and it's funny to me because you know, he's acting like oh, this is very scientific and objective. That's why I left out all this stuff and lied a whole bunch. <laughs>